Hi, this is Emma Wright, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Draft to Digital to not only have it as a platform to distribute your books to other ebook uh, e vendors like Kobo um, and Barnes and Noble and Scribd, but also it is a useful tool to use to have your book translated or rather converted or reformatted automatically from uh, your docx or doc manuscript to epub or a mobi or a pdf i wanted to just show you this um, page which i just did for you this is my second um, giants of rain um, page because uh, the other one is already live and i wanted to have something as a demo so i'm going to use this as a as a demo page for you, see how I I have it all uploaded already, and the end result will be such that if I click here on the left side, if you see, you have the uh, option of have it having it as an EPUB, or a sample, or a MOBI, or a PDF, or and also a PDF print ready. In fact, with this platform, you can even convert your ebook into a hardcover. Uh, rather not a hardcover, a print, a print book. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this very quickly. So I've already uploaded everything, but I wanted to go through with you the step-by-step -step process. So as you can see here, if you were doing this from scratch, it would ask you to upload your file right here. So you browse in your computer, then you fill out all the necessary information like title, the series, the contributors, um, a little short a description of the book, the search terms, um, they will give you the ISBN so you don't have to worry about that. And then the next step would be to save and continue since I've already um, pre-uploaded all the information to make this um, more efficient. I will just jump to the next page to show you what the next page is like, which is essentially the edit layout page. And um, on this next page, as you can see, we have the cover. I've already uploaded that as well. So you upload it through this cover image when it tells you to browse. And it also gives you uh, several other options, like what would you like to have included in the upload? Did you want a title page for it, um, a copyright page, a dedication page, and also buy page? Do you want to have a new release email, notification sign up, or a teaser? And if you can see here on the right side, it says chapter layout out it'll actually do for you the table of contents and it's already in this instance it's the correct table of contents in terms of all the chapter titles that i have but hold on a second let me click this off but in in the event that this is not the right uh, chapter titles and say it's all messed up if you can see this orange button it says help these aren't my chapters you click that real quick and it will what it'll do is it'll ask you um it'll kind of do its work and if it is still not the right um options see they've given you four different options they kind of try to reconfigure it for you but let's say none of these options still work what you do is you will see right at the bottom here it says this still isn't right please um, have the layout team review my book layout so you just basically click it and then you submit and their um staff will email you and um, ask you what are the right chapter titles or they will actually go through your manuscript to see which is the right way to do it and they'll communicate with you within 24 hours or less because they're based in england and um that's it and then you tell them this is not the right ones and please help me and they're very helpful and i find that because of this i'd rather go through them than through smash words um, because i'm not a very techie person i mean if you are then you know, good for you. But because I'm not, I find that this is a really um, efficient way to do it. And one more thing I wanted to bring out to you is that I have all my books here laid out, but I wanted to show you how um, at the end, uh, you can see here, I have the Giants of Rain Adventure Fantasy series. They also give you a universal book link. So if you see it's booked, books to read.com. If you click on this particular link, it will actually, you know, bring you to the correct 
uh, site. But before I do that, that I wanted to just show you this. See how it's published in uh, the different vendors that I have here. You can pick and choose who you want them to distribute it to. But if I were to click on this books to read dot com um, URL, it will slowly or quickly, depending on my oh slowly. Okay. Mm, okay, here you go. See how it'll bring you to this page. So your readers will, it'll bring them to this particular page and then they can choose who um, they want to buy the books through. Uh, instead of having one, two, three, four, five different uh, URLs, one URL will actually bring them to whichever vendor they want to go to. So I find that this is a really useful um, feature as well. So I like um, draft to digital a lot, draft to digital. I just don't like to say the word digital. But having said that, I do like them a lot. So I hope you, you have enjoyed this video and I will be posting more videos to help you uh, ease in into the self-publishing business. All for now.